Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over an overview and a, doing a demo of all the functions on my ACM 24AT and also where I moved the ACM 48A. So let's get started. So as you see, I got labels for the ACM 24AT and the ACM 48A used to be over here but I have moved it to somewhere else. So, where did I move it? I've moved it right here inside my new ABF 2DB enclosure. And I think this looks really nice. So what I can do is I can do a quick lamp test. Like that. And when like anything is activated, the LED beside the point will light up. And let's close that back up. Okay, now we're going to go over the ACM 24AT and what each function does. And so, uh, see all these right down here with all the X's? Those are disable switch. So, I have NAC1 disable, NAC2 disable, left pull 1 disable for when I change it out, and left conventional pull number 2 disabled. So that way I can easily change out the conventional pull stations for system tests without having to go into programming, which is very nifty for this ACM. And these down here with all the horns and such like that, those are control switches. And um, I will not be going over activating NAC1 or NAC2 in this video because those devices were recorded in another video for a system test and I did not want to spoil it for anyone. But and like <clears throat> What if you like wanted to like activate general zones using the ACM, which would activate all the outputs in that zone? Well, unfortunately, you can't do that. So you can only activate NACs, control, and relay modules separately. So where it says, these right here, those are for the relay signals only. The remote strobe and the anything else will not activate. Only the relays will activate, which will set off the E70. And I got, can do the strobe. Here's the voice evac, which I will do in this video. I will have this to a separate output module eventually. And here's, this is for the agent release relay signal. And these two, I will not go over with these today. So any disable switches I have programmed to light up red and all the control output switches I have programmed to light up green. So first we're going to go ahead and start with NAC1. So when I press this button, it 
the trouble LED for NAC1 as well as the trouble LED for the control switch on NAC1 both light up. See right here, the horn circuit one is disabled. And now when I press it again, it'll go back to normal. Now we'll do neck two. By the way, when I press acknowledge, the, LED, the trouble LED on the ACM will automatically stay steady. I mean, you can press this to acknowledge it, but I would rather just acknowledge it from the panel. But now as you see the light for the NAC2, but for both the disable switch and the control switch, both light up. Now, there's that. And here are for the left conventional pull stations. As you see, here's the LED, the trouble LEDs for the conventional pull stations because they are disabled. Now we'll just bring those back to normal. And the right conventional pull stations. and hit supervisory bell. Didn't you see the module stopped flashing when I disabled it, so just gonna re-enable it. And here is for the duct detector sounder. the alert commander. And for the B200SR sounder bases. All right, and that's it for the disable switches. Now I'm gonna do the control switches. I'm gonna start up here by activating the four wire strobe circuit. When I press this button, the LED will light up green. Here we go. See how it's lit up steady green? And the LED on the alarm indicator on the 2098-9805 test switch lit up because it is wired to the strobe circuit. And so, when I press the switch again, it'll shut off. Now I'll do the E70 strobe. See, here's the E70 strobe flashing. Right now we will just do that. Now here's something really cool. I can do the fire signal and the E70 stroke together. So first I will do the fire signal which will sound the E70. And now I can activate this and the strobe together.
Now I'm going to activate the tornado signal. for this area. Please take all appropriate safety actions at this time. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? A tornado warning has been issued for this area. A tornado warning has been issued for this area. Please take all appropriate safety actions at this time. May I have And I have the control switch for the supervisory signal. which lights up the LED on the RTS-151 red. And here is the, the relay module remaining lit. And when I turn it off, shut, it'll shut off. And this is for the duct detector sounder, which is very ear piercing. So here we go. Sorry, I did not mean to actually do that. I meant to shut off the sounder, not disable it. My apologies. Okay, now here's the SPSR strobe. Shut that off. And uh, I can activate the VEC 2550 with the control switch as well. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building on the... And I can activate the VEC 2550 and the strobe together. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building. Um and finally, here's the agent release signal. Code red. Code red. The signal you have just heard indicates that the suppression releasing system has been activated. Please leave the building immediately and await further instructions from proper authorities. Right. Now, first I'm going to disable NAX1 and NAC 2 because I do not want them to go off while I show you the point that which I activated. It'll light up on the ACM 24AT as well as the 48A. And by the way, when I activate a point on here, 
it'll also light up on the ACM48A as well. So like for example, if I pull this pull station, These all light up green. If we come over here to ACM48A, all of these remain lit as well. Let's close that back up. Now when I now when I press system silence, it'll shut off. Now we'll just reset the system. And I will re-enable the NAX. Gotta wait for the system to finish initializing first. Okay, now we can re-enable the notification appliances. And there you have it, everybody. That's an overview and a demo of my ACM 2480. Thank you for watching. Remember to always like, comment, and subscribe.